can't dock my concept. Cannot art. dock my concept <laughs> art on my concept art. <laughs> a theoretical imaginary spaceship. I've seen the theoretical imaginary spaceship. I believe in the theoretical imaginary spaceship. I trust in Chris Roberts to make the theoretical spaceship. Did you guys run Chris off? <laughs> uh, maybe. We got a wingman sleeping on a cot. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a couple of folks ask me why I was not in the design video. That was the day the Aurora, no, not Aurora, uh, Fear and I brochure came out, and I was uh, very busy prepping that. that. That's the only reason. <laughs> turned out good. It did. The 300i promotion turned out very well as an addition. Yeah. We're extremely smug in the chat that day, Ben. It was a lot of fun to see. <laughs> Yeah, like, one of my uh, kids. <laughs> one of my buddies, uh, his yeah. wife saw that and said, "Okay, I'll play the spaceship game." <laughs> and uh, his household is much happier for that. Yeah, my my fiance texted me. She has absolutely no interest in this sort of thing. She texted me that that commercial was amazing. So yeah, that's it. The commercial probably tipped four of my friends over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that sold some games. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's a uh, pretty awesome way to market the game, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not something that uh, I don't know if any games kind of done that before that I can think of anyway. Yeah, closest thing I can think of is the like the Team Fortress the character intros they yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And those are fun. To be yeah. Sure. They don't have quite the same impact. Like, oh, I see what's going on here. This is pretty mm -hmm. big. And I felt like the commercial at least had for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just the idea that it's, it's all in engine, uh, actual cinematic, not cinematic models, actual in game models. It's, it's really cool. It's powerful. And when they say it's in game stuff, you know, uh, you know, when Ben's saying it's in game, he's not kidding. Like, yeah. <laughs> they, they've been yeah. showing us, you know, it's, uh, it's real stuff. All this stuff exists. And, uh, and they're not playing around with it. It's uh, nothing on it is cheating. None of it's a surface level, uh, you know, looks shiny. It is shiny, and it's got uh, the texture to go with it. You know, the um, every uh, every uh, edge of the ship is you know modeled. You know, you can zoom all the way in, and you've got the corners on you know the little details of the ship. It's not a cheat. It's an actual. It's part of the geometry of the ship. Which is pretty uh, pretty outstanding to see, um, and the hangar is the same deal. All that stuff. And I'm sure the first time I undock my 300i, flip it over by accident and crash it into something, the explosion is going to have tremendous fidelity. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 there has been a challenge thus far of uh, Ken Shadow uh, has, has agreed to uh, crash his Idris into uh, mine. Uh, the uh, in, in, in the alpha test to see how the shields work. It's amazing. <laughs> That's a question for Brandon. <laughs> He's still the trying to play the, the, the mini poker game. Uh, Are we going to be able to put a gigantic spike on the front of our Hydra spin instead of a gun for random? <laughs> <laughs> People have been making fun of the uh, proboscis on the Hydra. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's, um, yeah. Yeah. It makes me feel very confident about myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing like a little donger on your ship to uh, make you feel good about it. <laughs> I think that killed staring contest. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How's the uh, chat roll doing? It's uh, it's going good. We got thirty-one hundred viewers still. Watch out. 100? 3100. Yep. Are they watching? Yeah, it seems like. Oh, on the. Uh, Are you not entertained? You should be entertained. Do they have any questions on the phone? I've got a couple of people who have tweeted me questions I can answer. Go for it, Ben. Take us away. All right. Uh, Righteous Coder says, any chance of seeing some Gladiator concept art? It's one of the few not mentioned at all. We're not ready to show the Gladiator yet. Um, We're not ready to show the Gladiator yet. Not ready no yet. sneak peeks. That's too bad. But uh, it's going to be cool when we do. 
that's our, our lighter bomber. It's kind of our equivalent of like a World War II carrier based bomber, a Dauntless or uh, Swordfish or something. Uh, let's see. He also says, what can you say? About, he says like several questions about the Gladiator. As it's just we one guy who's excited about, about the Gladiator. gladiator. The fans don't know anything about the Gladiator. They do not. not a thing. LA office, reveal something about the Gladiator. I want one, and I don't have one. <laughs> Demon646 says, will the economy change the in-game prices for the ships, or will they be set forever? Where, where's Chris when you need him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, well, the economy will impact uh, certainly the scarcity of the ships. If, if they can't get the uh, materials to produce idrises, then the factory is not going to turn out as many, and they're going to be rarer, and people are going to fight over them. I'm um, not sure. I mean, the sticker price may raise slowly over time rather than immediately spiking as, as materials impact it, but uh, certainly we will, the economy will absolutely impact the ships. And then the same material resources will impact one's ability to refurbish a ship through LTI, if I'm not mistaken. And also just plain ship will insurance, am I correct? So if yep. there's no idrises on the market, your SOL until one is produced, if I'm not. Is that about right? Uh, I, I do not want to answer any questions about LTI because I've gotten in too much trouble too many times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we will balance that. We, we hear LTI is uh, conflict. There, there's tension with the LTI. Uh, I think we regret ever in making up the LTI now. <laughs> uh, see, uh, that's everything I've gotten so far on Twitter. Uh, any work in progress on electronic warfare suites in ECCM? Anyone want to talk about uh, electronic warfare? You can ask me, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, we, we are currently thinking out our systems for that. Um, do you remember Wing Commander had like leech missiles that would disable ships? We're, we're kind of going more realistic than that. Uh, we've got a lot of kind of scanners and counter scanners and 